Welcome to this latest post for Discover Animals. And you would think I'm actually in France, but I'm not. I'm on the island of Guernsey, and I'm going to be finding out more about the Guernsey cattle, this rare breed that is synonymous with this island. I'm also going to be finding out what they do with the product that these wonderful animals produce. I will be speaking with farmer Julian Auger and Bill Luff, who is the Vice President of the Royal Guernsey Agricultural and Horticultural Society. What are the ideal characteristics of a Guernsey cow? In terms of the cow's conformation, yeah. we like medium-sized cows. We don't want tall cows. Mm -hmm. And we want cows that are robust, that have well-attached udders and good legs and feet. And we also like cows that uh, have longevity. That means that they are going to live a long time in the herd and do not require involuntary veterinary uh, intervention. So we, we don't want cows that are unhealthy, in other words. We, we've been breeding and, and focusing on health traits in our cows for some years now. Uh, female fertility, um, somatic cell score, uh, longevity, feet and legs, and mammary systems. All, all, those, all those functional traits that are so important if you want a cow to live a natural life. And that's what we're trying to do with our cows. We don't want cows that give massive amounts of milk and then don't last. And that's what we want. We want cows that live a more natural life. And the, the fields here on Guernsey, those are an important factor as well. Um, the, the, the soil in Guernsey is very high quality generally, especially in the upper parishes, which is where the, the, most of the cows live. And the fields are small, very small by English standards, but uh, farmers know how to manage them and uh, they're, they're, um, they're very successful at doing that. And the, they're also very interested in the profitability of their cows above anything else, really. But to have a profitable cow, then you need all the traits that I've mentioned before. They have to be healthy, they have to live a long time. Tourism is very important for Guernsey. So how do the Guernsey cattle fit into that? Well, Guernsey cattle are part of our living heritage. We are the custodians of the Guernsey breed. It is small in numbers, both in Guernsey, about 1,500 cows, and around the world, there are not the numbers of Guernseys that there used to be. So it's incumbent on us to ensure that we have a healthy herd, and that means we have to monitor particularly inbreeding, which we do, and we, uh, we are very careful that, that, that animals do not get too closely related. However, we have, um, we have been complemented on the way that we run our breeding programme in Guernsey. And, um, and in fact, in the whole management of dairy farms in Guernsey, we have been complemented by many European scientists. So it's, uh, it's quite pleasing to see that. What is it that you are doing to protect the environment for these cattle? Well, I think, you know, really it's being aware of your, your surroundings and w working in, in harmony with what you've got. You know, we look at managing our hedges um, so as not to overcut them and try and preserve the, uh, the wildflowers with timing our, our hedge cuttings and uh, also to maintain a little bit of shelter for the animals if they happen to be out and it turns pretty nasty. I think the other thing we're trying to do is we're trying to move away from um, uh, nitrogen hungry grass lays and we're uh, trying to sow more permanent pasture in, the, in the, what we call the grazing block which, which is uh, the grazing block is land that's within walking distance for the cows from around the farm buildings. So that just means we're not uh, ploughing fields up every two or, two or three years, we're hoping to get five or six years out of them.
mm. and they tend to be the grass is a little bit more hardy and with clover in and they're not quite so nitrogen hungry which is uh, you know um, where we may apply uh, mm. bag fertilizer well, we can reduce that a little bit if we've got these hardier grasses so do you get much interaction with tourists that visit the islands at all um, I think people are very, very interested in, uh, in farming, even if, even if they're um, not involved with it. People do like to look over the hedge, see a nice clean field with cows in. That's what uh, I think tourists want, want to see. And now there are only uh, 12 or 13 of us actually milking dairy cows. You don't always think there are a lot of cows around, but uh, if you know where to look, it's nice. They do like, people do like to see them and ask us about our, our industry. One, one of their main traits of interest is that they are very docile. Everybody you talk to about them, every dairy farmer who's ever milked them, knows that Guernsey cows are very docile and very friendly. So uh, that's nice for the visitors. Um, and also I think the, 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 their colour <laughs> looks very good against the green fields. And, and, uh, and of course the... The, um, the quality of the milk that they produce, which is high in butterfat, but very high in protein as well. And the, 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 the colour of the milk is deep golden. And that's not because there's more fat in it, it's because cows don't convert uh, beta carotene very well. So it, you would see in their ears and under their, under their coat, you will see yellow pigment and on the end of their tail. And that yellow pigment is what makes the what what makes the the Guernsey milk and cream so yellow in colour, and also the butter is is golden in colour and cheese too. Once the fresh milk arrives at the dairy, what then is the process? Yeah, the, well, our tankers will go out. First tanker goes out at six in the morning, and it'll go and collect from some farms. That milk's brought back, tested to make sure it's antibiotic and water-free. It's pumped into a silo. That milk's kept for 24 hours. And then we uh, pasteurise it the following morning. It goes through, separated into cream and milk. Some of the cream is put back in if it's full cream. A small amount is kept out if it's uh, low fat, and a large amount is kept out of its skin. The cream goes for butter, uh, cream packing, ice cream. The milk's used for sales in, in litre packs, half litre packs. The milk is also used in cheese making and into ice cream making. Each product is tested throughout the day. Uh, packs of milk are tested every hour. And then from there into the cold store, it's kept overnight. All the tests are checked for the following morning and then out into the supermarkets. You export from Guernsey as well? Yes, we export a large amount of butter, goes to the UK. We send a small amount of butter into Wales, that comes back as butter portions through our restaurant trade. And we've also sent a small amount of cream to Scotland for an ice cream maker. As an industry, uh, you know, how important is it I think the industry is vastly important for the island. It's going to keep our green fields. We've got a very unique set of fields. They're very small. Uh, the, some of the fields date back hundreds of years. They haven't changed over those years. Without the farming industry, those fields would soon be used up into to probably pot gardens or built on. So, you know, the island desperately needs it and it keeps the green open spaces. And of course, the Guernsey cow is a rare breed and iconic to the island.